so in continuation of uh, the first part of my video uh, where there was a slight power interruption so i had to do this video in two parts okay so uh, and uh, in meanwhile i did uh, a few things of uh, getting this getting the curtains colored uh, i mean painted uh, sorry for that word uh, painted the curtains and uh, i was in the midst of almost completing the video in the first half itself but then it so happened that um, i did not realize that you know, the video recording was not going on i yeah, just kept printing so now i'll finish off this video if you can recollect the first part is uh, about uh, uh, how but uh, i think uh, i should be able to join both the videos uh, together let me see how best i can do that okay so now let's see uh, like uh, once we have did that first part and uh, if you recollect uh, that we had applied acrylic paint here okay. and then uh, so on that we have put uh, a little bit of color on this place uh, like this okay so these are basically a mix of burnt sienna and burnt umber okay so uh, now i wanted to see that the the cola which we are painting here you will find a lot of dark colors Okay, and uh, here, since uh, it's like crushed ice, so that's why you'll find uh, very much, uh, not uh, much of, uh, what you can say, fine outlines. See, these eyes are popping out from the glass, so that's why they are, uh, the edges are quite uh, sharp here. Okay, so now let us, um, well, uh, I mean, just finish off this uh, part of coloring this and then we can see how the color transits from a lighter color to a medium tone and to a dark tone like that okay so um, let's take the same color as what we are doing okay uh, there is a, a bit of uh, burnt sienna burnt umber uh, and a mix of that like that and um, we'll take my water bottle here this is that uh, in a drop of water where there is nothing but plain water. So a lot of uh, people have that question as to what is filled in the bottle. So it's plain water because what happens when you uh, uh, when you clean the brushes in your glass or jar, uh, you'll find the water becoming very dirty. So when you have to do some true colors, that time uh, it's, uh, it's very, very difficult to do those. Okay, so now let us see uh, here, we can take a little darker color like this. Okay, uh, this time dropping the color here, dropping the color here like this, like this, okay, uh, like this. Okay, and then you see that uh, how then for the transition of darkness starts. So, and uh, see here also in a few places where the light is not reaching or say suppose uh, light is coming say from somewhere top like this uh, we can have a lot of uh, dark and light areas here like this and you see this is uh, since we have painted it in acrylic uh, acrylic uh, is a waterproof paint so when we put paint on that you'll find it starts resting the color Okay, so let us put now here. Here on top, you will find a lot of burnt sienna color there. Uh, burnt sienna is basically an uh, orange brown, which uh, I had explained. Uh, and uh, you will find a brown sort of color which uh, was existing in, in earlier days. Uh, okay, uh, but now we use more of, uh, say, a burnt sienna. Uh, uh, Van Dyke brown or burnt umber or say raw umber like that. Okay, those colors, the names were non existent a uh, few years back. Okay, but now you'll find quite often we using those colors more than 
anything else okay so let's do uh, a little of uh, a lighter tone here okay say like this uh, this is a middle tone this is a much much lighter tone and see what i am doing is i know i have put some acrylic paint here okay so in any case when you just roll the brush over uh, wherever acrylic paint has been put you will find see like this uh, effect coming like this see this uh, this gives the effect of you know uh, ice which is submerged in the glass like that it, uh, so you will find uh, in cola they, like people like to have it very chilled so they generally um, uh, uh, make it a lot of ice uh, in that and then have it so we can have at the edge you will find a little bit of darker color okay because um, the or we can say is uh, there the light uh, is not reaching or what with the edge uh, some places you'll find a uh, very, very you know, dark of color okay and this is uh, from actual observation i mean here i am not painting uh, as such uh, from anything from my mind because see to remember such uh, different tones uh, you know, while doing the uh, say a drawing like this or a painting like this uh, uh, and it's a lot of uh, concentration uh, okay so see i'm just uh, rolling over the brush over where where we have put this acrylic paint and so where the acrylic paint is not there the paper is observing that uh, uh, absorbing that color and uh, that is how we are getting these lines like this Okay, so um, I think now by now you must have understood as to how do we go about uh, getting this uh, effects of uh, the eyes uh, popping out. If you have must, uh, if you must have seen my video on, you know, uh, coconut water also. There also I had used the same technique, and uh, that one. You know, also has uh, even you know uh, I, I have shown a little bit of ice popping out uh, from the glass surface here like this. Okay, so here I would like to go much more darker. Okay, because uh, here the cola will look much much darker. So here uh, what I will do is uh, to obtain a little bit of uh, reddish color. That uh, we'll have to take a little bit of scarlet lake, scarlet, okay, and uh, just we we'll have to keep mixing the scarlet color like this. See, this scarlet color, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, we can have a little bit of one tumbler, uh, and again, same way we can have so this is one tumbler. Then you can just keep uh, mixing uh, a little bit of, uh, like what I'd said, I'd taken a bit of Prussian blue also to darken the burnt umber uh, because uh, that is how we get a very nice dark brown color. And uh, uh, of course, we'll obtain that very, very darker color tones uh, at the bottom, like here, here, uh, what I'm saying. Because here we have to go much, much darker. Uh, so that is how like, the glass is looking like fully filled with the uh, uh, cola. Okay, so let me now just quickly finish those particular parts. Okay, so I have taken burnt umber uh, and say a Prussian blue. Okay, like this. burnt tumbler like this okay, you'll find a little bit of greenish color developing okay so uh, in that when i mix a little bit of scarlet you'll find we are getting this tone of uh, the uh, i mean the darkest tone of the cola which is there so i don't need to actually uh, put uh, black in this uh, and see somewhere here i can just lay some color like this okay so 
Now this is what see the beautiful tone which has got developed of the cola, which is uh, 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 very very dark color here. You will find, uh, and there are a lot of ice cubes also. So whatever is beneath that ice cubes, uh, you'll find that uh, they are quite dark. I mean, because there the light is not reaching. So now, see again. Uh, uh, I'll not mix. Uh, like generally, like see, I don't mix colors all together in one go. Like see, here uh, the color is there already uh, mixed, and then in that I'll just take a scarlet, take this bit of color, okay, and then because see here we want a little bit of a reddish tone here to be developed, okay, because that is what uh, is a cola. See like this. If you see this color, if this is visible to you, uh, okay, so I don't zoom the camera because uh, I don't want you know much disturbance in you know, while we are painting. Okay, so just sorry for that. That if it is not uh, really visible uh, much to you, but then see the whole theme has to be understood of the painting see, like again now here i'm uh, because i want some lighter color here so i am taking just a bit of water okay then mixing this and then see so i want to get a, a very brighter uh, sort of this palette with the mix of burnt umber like this see. So the the bottom uh, will be pretty dark like this okay so and so also in few places like this you'll find this colors okay it's not uh, that uh, yeah it, it, though it will be you know much uh, towards the bottom here okay but then you'll find a lot of uh, color uh, I mean the color which is there uh, that uh, more of uh, you know uh, darker color at the bottom and then so i'm doing now a little bit of a lighter uh, 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 little uh, reddish color is what i'm expecting here uh, and that is what happens uh, when you'll find the cola is uh, texture developing so nice okay i hope everybody likes cola Uh, though maybe uh, it's not uh, really I don't know whether it's good for health or no but then uh, that's it uh, people do have a lot of uh, um, colas uh, to drink uh, maybe they must be enjoying it but then I like painting it so much so okay is putting a little bit of uh, yellow here, okay, because after that I want to put a bit of the scarlet color there to develop a little bit of the sea, a orange, uh, a, a much lighter color there, uh, sorry, um, the color which is more uh, towards the redder zone like this, see. So, and uh, so also it, it gives us a transparency of color like this. So the beautiful one, uh, the color which has developed here, if you see, and that is why you see. I generally tend to not mix the color in my palette. Uh, I try to do it more on the paper like this. Okay, so we can uh, keep doing so many things, like so many additions we can do. Okay, so if you see here, uh, I'm sorry. So I have to be a bit careful. Okay, and I just uh, roll the color down a little bit like this. Uh, just pull the color here, okay? And say um, on top, uh, now I can go uh, for a much lighter color. Okay, so say the same color with uh, lots of water. Okay, and probably uh, you have to add a little bit of uh, a yellow ochre or something like that uh, and then we can have a little bit of a mucky color sort of thing mud basically because the ice cubes there will uh, catch on the color of the bottom and get reflected here like this okay so
stay like this. Okay. So again, if you see, uh, I have made a little bit of uh, yellow there, uh, deep yellow. Okay, so that uh, the color which we have put now does not really. Uh, take charge because uh, that color is uh, more of a mud sort of thing okay so um, if you see I, I i avoid using you know something like um, this tissue paper for lifting color i try doing it more of brushwork and uh, seeing to it that uh, the glass is getting full with the uh, I hope it does not fall out like that. Okay, so let us paint this color. And now uh, will our uh, you know, final uh, thing which will start uh, is uh, what we can start uh, doing a bit of uh, because see this is acrylic. So if I just roll the brush like this on that and keep cleaning the brush so you'll get those uh, those hazy look which you are expecting here if you see uh, there is uh, I kept uh, a little darker uh, uh, not darker basically more uh, acrylic paint there so that you, know, uh, you don't get a hazy look like this you it gets uh, much much clearer there so uh, you know, this is like the here paint, you have put it very dilute. So, see, yeah, it has gone through the paper also, but uh, you know, it is reflecting also out. So, that is how we get uh, this uh, hazy effect here, like this. Okay, so and then we can just uh, start doing the coloring of the bottom portion. I think it's getting late for the video, is it? I don't think. Uh, there is no time limit to, for accuracy to be done. Okay, so the bottom part of portion is, is it looking very really dark. So let me lift a little bit because see there is a, a little bit of acrylic paint there. So see this is how it is now in the building up like this. So see we can see some ice cubes popping out now. See here like this. See. And have some ice cubes like this. So you can paint over, you can, you know, take out the color also. Uh, so that is how uh, you create those effects of color on this. So, and here probably it will be much, much lighter here, but then uh, at the bottom it will get darker further. Like you'll get a much, much darker color. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of uh, light which will get, uh, uh, sorry, uh, rather there will be a lot of color which will get, uh, 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 you cannot say absorbed, but uh, there you'll find a lot of darker color at the base. Okay, because you know it's like the base is blocking the color to come down, something like that. Okay, so let us do that portion much darker. Okay, and for that I am using even a little bit of violet, a very thick color here, okay. see like this, a very thick. So here if you see I used a lot of pigment uh, to color, okay, so uh, I mean you should be generous uh, while now, when you really need some very, very darker tones like this, so that uh, you don't uh, feel afterwards that I have not get enough for correct. See, okay, so now let us um, put a little bit of scarlet again because uh, I think uh, our tone is more towards brown, and what is expected is a little bit of. The richness we should come in the cola. Okay, so let's take scarlet. Uh, crimson would be too cooler color. So we can put a little bit of color like this here, here, and a little bit of here, color like this, color like this, here, like this. 
if you just clean the brush because uh, now I have to just spread this color like this at various places to give a little reddish look to the whole thing. Or maybe a very, very uh, reddish, uh, uh, sorry, not uh, reddish, but uh, a more darker uh, brown with. Uh, a little bit of uh, this. So you can make a spell of what color it is looking like, but it's like a combination of color. Okay, so let us see whether uh, are we doing this uh, portion? Is the shape okay? I think uh, fairly okay. Because he, I think here it is more like this. So in this, we uh, make the shape correct. We were painting the that side we were painting. Yeah, no, I think it's looking quite symmetrical. So these type of things you can always do. There is a problem with uh, doing these things. Okay, so now I, I have uh, I have already uh, sorry I I have finished uh, this top part shadow there. Okay, and then uh, I think we can just finish off uh, the color, the painting. Okay, so just a little bit of a uh, violet here. Putting violet on um, yellow, uh, it tends to become a little blackish because of, uh, again, color. Because in color theory, you'll find that uh, the Violet and uh, yellows are uh, complementary to each other. So when two com when two complementaries mix, uh, that is uh, basically three primaries mixing, will get a dark up. Uh, I mean, uh, it will go towards say uh, from a dark brown to a gray to a very very black, uh, nice black color because all three primaries. In um, pigment mixing, uh, we'll get uh, black, and in light mixing, we'll get white. So that has to be remembered. This, so I think we have finished uh, this part. Okay, so now I'm uh, ending the video here. The final one uh, you can see in our uh, uh, thumbnail uh, views and. Uh, from that you can always uh, do the final drawing okay so thank you very much for watching and do share it with your family and friends uh, i think it will be a good uh, it will be good fun to do this work thank you